testing, testing. Uh, suck your mom. Suck your mom one. Suck your mom two. Uh, <laughs> suck your mom. <laughs> Pretty good. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video hosted by me. Shit. Ah. Uh, hosted by me. SK SOG. For the little story. I just had to make it rhyme. Right of how I got snubbed from my uni basketball team. I mean, I'm livid. I'm pissed. I'm just upset. Not in a good mood, I'm angry. Not much else to say in it. I mean, I could tell you more about how I feel or I could just get on with the story. So I might just get on with the story and also reveal the new club that I'm in. So let's get to it. You may have noticed that I put a pair of black PG4s behind me on my little shelf there. They've got a little bit to do with the story, but it's mainly because those are the shoes I wore to trials. I'll elaborate on them a little bit later. A little bit of black, <laughs> black Air Force energy. Yeah, black Air Force energy. Cause I was on smoke. I guess I should start off with my university. <coughs> I can't even say anything about that. I currently attend Manchester Metropolitan University. According to some, the second best university in Manchester. But to me, it's the second best university in Manchester. However, I had the choice to go to either Manchester Met or Uni of Manchester. So I will make a video on why I went to MMU over Uni of Manchester. There's a couple of reasons, but I'll get to those on a different video. Cool, so I moved to Manchester on the 16th of September, 2022. If you needed to know that, I'm 18 years old, quite young 18, but still 18 and a Uni 18, if someone asks you. Moved to MMU, moved to Manchester on the 16th of September, took the trip up. We took a coach, we couldn't afford the train. There isn't enough money, it's just expensive. I'm from Gloucester, so that's like a 50 pound train trip. Like even carrying suitcases and stuff like that, that's way too expensive. I moved in, enjoyed freshers like a typical uni student, uh, going to all them different clubs. Manchester's a little bit different to Gloucester. It's like flipping 20 times bigger, it's massive. Yeah, I enjoyed uni, enjoyed Freshers' Week, but at the same time, I was trying to see what Manchester basketball was saying. Yeah, the sun checking like crazy. Obviously, it's better than where I'm from, so I just wanted to see how good it was. They had little games at a sports centre nearby to my accommodation, so I went to them and to see how good everyone was. And I thought I was decent compared to most of the other people. Not necessarily the best, but pretty good. I was thinking, all right, this is good. This is nice. I'm in a decent position. Maybe I can get to the third team, the second team, first team in it. I say first team, I wasn't gonna get to the first team. I'll be real with myself, but at least a good team. Am I right? I believe in myself. I believe in my capabilities. So I, I went to those games thinking, all right, this is decent. Maybe I'll do well at trials. We'll see how they go. At the same time though, while I wanted to play in the uni team, I also wanted to play for another team outside of university, just cause I wasn't too sure how many training sessions they get, how many like different things like that. I, I just want to improve as quickly as possible and as much as possible, as much as I can. So at the same time I was doing those things and getting ready for trials, I messaged the coach on Instagram asking if I could join their team basically. I think the time I came in September, most of the teams had already formed and they were kind of starting their seasons. I was kind of joining late. So I messaged the coach asking if I could come. They're like, yeah, pull up today, <laughs> the day I messaged. And um, yeah, let's see what you got basically. So I was nervous, excited, ready to go, trying to figure out how to get to this actual basketball court. Cause I, I don't know my way around Manchester. I'm not from here. Later that day, I managed to get to trials. They went pretty good. Coach was like, welcome to the team. And I was like, <laughs> I was gassed. I was in a good mood. 
rest of the day, rest of the week, something like that. So my ego is being boosted constantly and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm good enough to be in the uni <laughs> second or first team. Bear in mind that this was the 27th of September, which is 11 days after I moved into uni. So my ego's being boosted. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Manchester was the best decision of my life ever. Everyone else is, <laughs> everyone else is a scrub. Major ego boost. Voice break. Major ego boost. I'm in a good mood. Ah. This happens on the 27th of September, but uni trials are on but uni trials are on the 2nd of October. So I have five days to get ready. At this point, I'm fully on the grind, playing almost constantly. Like I was going to the park, playing every day, going to the gym, not every day, but like consistently, I had a schedule. Yeah, doing a lot. I'm sure even compared to some other people. So I felt like I was doing a lot and also, I was in a good position to be in one of the teams. But I would say besides shooting, the one major flaw that I have is lack of experience. But I didn't know that yet. I'm just taking. It comes to the 2nd of October. Trials day. It was a Sunday. A fateful Sunday. Not that you need to know, but it was a Sunday. The trials themselves were held at Platte Lane Sports Complex, which is the official sports complex of MMU. Not sponsored by MMU. I'd say on that Sunday, there were approximately 40 players in that sports hall at the time. Nowhere near the amount in the second trials. I'll get to the second trials. I do remember this day because on this day was the Manchester Derby. I, I did the trials and then I went to watch the football afterwards. I think it was like 4-0 to Man City at half time. So we just left the sports bar that we were in because it was just full of Man City people. Obviously, the first thing you do when you go into the sports hall for trials is look at the competition. I went in, I was looking at everyone. I was seeing who was tall, who was short, who was who looked like a basketball player because you, you can tell when people are ballers. You can tell, you just know. it. They just move a certain way. I was seeing who was a baller. There were a few people, actually quite a lot. There were a lot but nothing that I didn't believe I could at least do competently against, you get me? But I was looking around, I was looking at who was shooting around, who was going about drills, who was like, who knew what they were doing with, with the drills and getting ready for trials. I saw a decent few, but at the same time, I still thought I could beat them or at least do well against them. Enough to be in the same team with them, at least. So we had a little talk with the head coach. He was telling us, do well, obviously. Everyone's a winner, but no one is, apart from the best. And then we went about the trials. I'll get the PG4s back in the frame because honestly, they did with me pretty well. Like, there were some good shoes. I'd say overall, obviously you can't be perfect, but I think the trials went pretty well. I think they went all right. Obviously make some mistakes, learn from them, be talkative, communicative, some good advice for trials. Just be vocal, be loud, just make yourself hurt if you aren't seen that's probably the best thing to say while they did go well those weren't the only trials that we had because there was a limited sample size basically and while i say there were about 40 people at the first trials there were about 25 to 35 more that still needed to come because they hadn't arrived to university yet i'm quite surprised by that but at the same time they hadn't arrived to university yet so they were like all right we're gonna do another trials on Wednesday. If you did badly today, don't worry about it. You still got Wednesday. And if you did well today, worry about it because there's still Wednesday. That was that. Left trials feeling pretty happy about myself. Went to watch the football. Saw Man United losing 4-0, left. Realized Erling Haaland was a menace. And then just went about my day. And we also went to Bunny Jackson's. If you ever come to Manchester and you go to Deansgate, Go to Bunny Jackson's because they make the best swings ever. Five one? Oh my god. I'm not piss taking, I'm being like completely genuine. I know my voice sounds monotone, but please, I beg you, go there. Bunny Jackson's, Bunny Jackson's, Bunny Jackson's. I don't remember too much about the lead up to Wednesday, but one thing I do remember was on Wednesday it was raining like hell. So that was some sort of pathetic fallacy 
for that set of trials. I thought it meant a good thing. I thought it meant, oh, it was gonna be raining trees or raining buckets or something like that. But it was raining something. It wasn't buckets. So I had to go to trials on the bus, but I had to walk through town first. I didn't have a waterproof jacket for some reason. I hadn't bought one yet. Silly me, am I right? Coming, <laughs> coming, coming to Manchester without a waterproof. So I ended up, so I ended up getting to trials being soaking wet. The good thing was none of my basketball stuff was wet. It was just me. There you go. I definitely say that out of the two, the second set of Charles one way worse than the first. Not happy about it, but it is what it is. The way they went about the trials was that um we did some warm-up drills first to warm up. They split us into different teams slash groups. And then I think we started off with a bit of half court. It was first to two, but it was always you play two games and then you're off. And it was only ones, any threes or twos you make. There were just ones. So first to two, we played half court and then we moved to full court a little bit later. Full court sometimes tends to be easier because sometimes people don't want to run back. You can just swing it to a player that's on the other side and then they can get an easy layup. While full court is easier, actually, yeah, full court was way easier. I played like trash on half court because I vividly remember there was one play. Um, I was driving towards the baseline, but I just bounced it straight off my foot. Straight, clean. I just shouted, oh, I can't swear. I, I can't swear. I'm not gonna sweat. I guess I could see this one thing as a good thing or a bad thing though, because the good thing is the coaches weren't looking to see that. The bad thing is the coaches weren't looking. They just weren't looking at our court at all. You could kind of tell that all of the good players were on one side. The good players were on one side and then there was everyone else on the other side. One of my friends pointed it out to me and as soon as I saw that, I was like, what the f what the frick? That was the first time I realized that coaches have a preference, basically. I'm sure a lot of them they had seen already. Some of them, or most of them were second year, third year. But at the same time, there were a couple of first years on there that were, there, there were some tall ones, but um, that were on clubs already. Like, I don't know if they were on D2 clubs and stuff like that, but they were at least D3 for sure. Or they had played like EABL, ABL, stuff like that. No disrespect to the coaches, obviously, because maybe I'm just not at that level yet. We went in that sports hall for maybe a couple of hours. Yeah, two hours. We played for maybe one and a half, one hour, 45 minutes. And at the end, they were doing the teams. So whilst we were playing, towards the end, coach came and he was writing our names down on lists. I thought not too much of it. I knew it was for being put on a team. I just didn't know which team it was, but it was time for him to tell us which teams we were in. They gathered us all around in a big circle, told us to give each other a round of applause just because we'd done a good job. We'd all done a good job for the most part. And then started naming names. I didn't hear my name get called in the first team. Um, I wasn't expecting to hear my name in the first team, so that was all right. I didn't hear my name get called in the second team. And I was thinking, all right, I wasn't really expecting myself to be in the second team. I'm not at that level yet. Uh, so we moved. I was waiting for my name to get called in the third team, but he was going down the names and I didn't hear myself. I was like, all right, uh, maybe there's some, <laughs> maybe there's some sort of mistake. But I was like, not making the third team is fine. I can get into that relatively quickly. Am I right? Just gotta put in some work or just show them what they're missing. So I was waiting for my name to get called in the fourth team. And it was going down, it was going down to this, this name, 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 this name. And finally, this name. That doesn't sound like my name. Hmm. I wonder what mine is. Maybe he just, mispronounced it maybe I just didn't hear it my name wasn't on there he finally gets to the fifth team I finally hear my name getting called 
And the worst, <laughs> the worst part was he didn't say it properly. I'm already in a bad mood, and I just hear, I can't, I can't remember how he said it, but I just hear like Stephen Sodas. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Unlucky mate. What they did with the Charles is that um, once they put you into the teams, you go and meet your other like teammates. Obviously, that's like standard procedure. But like, when when I got to the fifth team group, I was, I couldn't speak. I was just in such a bad mood. I could not speak for the life of me. I didn't know what to do. I was just pissed. I was just mad. But like, I fully and truly felt snubbed, like completely. Obviously not necessarily first or second team worthy, but maybe like at least like third or fourth team and I felt like I was better than fifth team. By the time trials ended, I think it was maybe, it was either 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. But, <laughs> The good thing was after trials in a different sports center, but by my accommodation, they were doing like open runs. So me being pissed, go straight to the open runs and start. I, I want to say bowling out, but I wasn't bowling out. I was just playing with emotion, playing with emotion because I felt snubbed. I actually played pretty well, but I, I was playing with emotion. I was not in a good mood. But one interesting thing that came out of Charles in itself was that it gave me a bit of a dilemma because I was on fifth team. I was in the fifth team, but one thing was they didn't have any training sessions. But the other thing is the only thing that they did basically was play campus league games on Sunday from like, I think, 4 to 6 p.m. something like that that clashed with my basketball training with my club and it's now time to do a bit of a club reveal Woo! for the 2022 ah oh, i messed up for the 2022 2023 season i will be playing with the drum roll please drum roll please can I get a fucking drum roll, please? I will be playing with the... Manchester Kings. Thank you very much. That's why I got purple lights. If you can see them. I don't know if you can tell if they're purple. Yeah. Purple lights. Purple lights. Purple lights. Come on, come on, come on. You know how it is. Allow me to explain my situation. Basically, I'm not good enough for MBL D3 yet, which I'll acknowledge. That's fine. I'm training with the Kings' MBL D3 side, so their National League side. But I'm training and playing with the Manchester Local League side, so Manchester Kings Mabel or MABL which stands for Manchester Area Basketball League. Honestly, I'm really grateful for the opportunity. I'm in a good position to develop, play, train, literally everything. I think I'm in a better position than going for university because if I were in the fifth team, I would have to train my way up, work my way up without having any training sessions or anything like that, only playing on Sundays. And I think the level of competition at Mabel is a lot better than the one at Campus League. The other thing is that I'm getting a lot more training time in general and just being able to develop more. Because from what I've heard, the third team only trains once a week, something like that, and then plays once a week. But with the Kings, I'm training at least three times a week and then playing once a week, something like that. So I'm in a really good position. The one downside is that it's a little bit far away. So I have to either take the bus or one of my teammates has been giving me a lift. Thank you, Pietro, for the lifts. I really appreciate it. And it's in the evening, so I can't go out clubbing. Damn it. Nah, I'm joking, obviously, but I'm not too stressed about it, apart from the fact that sometimes it finishes at, like, 10 p.m., which <laughs> got a long day of lectures and stuff like that, and then going to play basketball in the evening and training, and then probably having to make food afterwards. That means that I end up going to sleep at, like, 12. Later than 12. Just a bit. But we move, it's all in the name of getting better, all in the name of being a better basketball player. Buckets, buckets, buckets. Blah. Blah. Oh, sorry, microphone. Blah. 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 Come on, come on. 
know how it is. 016 for money on the map, boy. <laughs> Just enjoying myself. Don't mind me. But that concludes my little story time. If you like content like that, please like, subscribe, and tell me so I can do more of them. You guys see me playing basketball in England. That's crazy. Apparently, we don't play basketball yet. But for now, it's your host with the most, SK Soji. And um, apparently, we don't play basketball in the UK. Apparently, we don't. Because um, according to some, we play football, we play rugby, play cricket, play tennis, um, hockey. Some might even say flipping ice hockey. And I don't, I don't agree with that. Ice hockey, lacrosse, uh, rounders, badminton, um, competitive swimming. Uh, I can't think of any more. Uh, horse racing. I can't think of any more. I can't think of any more. We just don't play basketball. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't.